Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servants, be obedient to them that are your masters, according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart as unto Christ, not with eye service or men pleasing, but as the service of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with good will doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good thing any man doeth, the same shall be received of the Lord, whether he be bond or free. And ye masters do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there any respect of persons with him. I'm ready you're here this morning, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 1 through 9. We welcome you uh, to another Super Sunday at Greenwood Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, we, we pray that the mercies of God have followed you all throughout this weekend. Uh, your expressions of thanks to him uh, were acceptable unto the Lord. God is able and his mercies endure uh, forever. Again, we say welcome. Uh, we want to thank all who continue to uh, serve Greenwood during this uh, time that we're in right now. Uh, your efforts have not gone unnoticed, uh, and God is continuing to bless you as a result of it. Uh, we ask that you continue to pray for Greenwood Missionary Baptist Church family and friends. Uh, special prayers for Brother and Sister Stephen Wright uh, and their family. Uh, Brother Wright's brother uh, died uh, this week in a car accident. They are having services next Sunday. Uh, as well as our other bereaved families here at Greenwood Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, also, we want to just uh, share with you the importance of us continuing to be diligent uh, in our efforts as we go forward uh, to continue to serve one another but also remain safe. Uh, we just encourage and ask that anyone that has to come to the church, uh, if you are sick, if you're not feeling well, please refrain from coming. Uh, hold off until you're feeling better. Uh, so that we may continue to keep the environment here at the church in a sanctified as well as uh, clean way. Uh, our text today will come from Daniel chapter 6. There will be some selected verses that we'll use. Uh, and we just ask that as we prepare uh, to hear from our praise and worship team, that you would give them a hand this morning uh, as they come.
Thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. For blessing me. The Bible reminds us that in the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad I know who he is. Last week, Sister Cammy, I, I, I was reminded who my daddy is. And so I, I'm grateful that Jesus and God have come into my life and have taken up residence in my life that now I can shout out hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for continuing to bless me. We want to thank our praise and worship team, amen, for our selection this morning. Turn with me to Daniel chapter 6. We give all praise and honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is first and foremost in our life, to our deacons, uh, to our First Lady, Sister Carol, this morning, in our absence to our praise and worship team, Sister Cameron, Sister Cantrell, Sister Terry, uh, and our cameraman, Brother Malachi. We are glad, amen, to be here amen. on this morning. Uh, God has been uh, tremendously good to us. Uh, I, I don't know about you, amen, but I, I know that we went through Thanksgiving, uh, but every day is a day of Thanksgiving. When we consider, amen, that God did not have to wake us this morning. Uh, he did not have to watch over us all last night. Uh, he did not have to provide for us, but he chose to do so. And I'm so glad about it. Daniel chapter 6, again, a couple of choice verses, 7, 10, 13, 16, and then 20 through 23. Uh, and it reads thusly, all the presidents of the kingdom, the governors and the princes, the counselors and the captains have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man for 30 days, save with thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber toward Jerusalem, he kneeled up on his knees three times a day and prayed, yeah, yeah. and gave thanks before his God as he did right, aforetime. Right. Right. Then answered they and said before the king that Daniel, which is of the children of the captivity of Judah, regarded not thee, O king, nor the decree that thou hast signed but making his petition three times a day. Right. Then the king commanded, commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. All right. All right. All right. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spoke and said to Daniel, O oh, Daniel, Servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lion? Well, well. Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. Yeah, yeah. My God has sent his angels and has shut the lion's mouth, right. that they have not hurt me, for as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no man of hurt was found upon him because he believed all right, all right. in his God. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Master, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come this morning, Lord, we say thank you. We thank you, Master, for another day, Lord, that you've allowed us, Lord, to walk upon the face of the earth. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the opportunity, Master, to share your word with your people on today. We ask now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would search our hearts, Master. That, Lord, if there's anything within any of us, Lord, that's not like you, Father, that you remove it right now. So that, Lord, that we may be found blameless as your word is distributed and falls, Lord, upon the hearts of your people. Lord, I pray now that you remove me as your servant out of the way. 
That, Lord, that my words will not be words that will be expressed, Lord, that my ways will not be ways expressed, but I would follow according to your will and your purpose. That, Lord, that I will share that which you wanted to be shared. That I will empty out, Father, as you have poured into me. That, Lord, that your servant, that your people, Father, will have a better day as a result of hearing the word of God. And, Lord, we won't be short to give you the praise because all glory and honor is due unto you. We thank you on this morning. It's in Jesus Christ's holy and righteous name we pray and give you thanks. Let every heart say amen, 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 amen. 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 Daniel chapter 6, 7, 10, 13, 16, 20 through 23, uh, and just uh, a little bit of the rest. I want to share with you this morning three things you can't stop doing in the pandemic. Three things you can't stop doing in the pandemic. All right. This past Thursday, we held our prayer and praise service on Zoom. And, and, and much to my delight, amen, I, I thought it went well. Uh, uh, we had the opportunity, amen, for about 19 of our members who joined with us, amen, and got on and shared their testimonies. And the Lord uh, allowed us to see just how good God still is in the midst of all that we're going through. Now, Sister Kelly, I, 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 even with that, amen, there, there was a, a noticeable absence of people that, uh, as I go through and have continued to go through the last few months, I, I must admit that I, I'm a little concerned as it relates to the consistency of God's people. Uh, there has been a hesitancy or an outright choice by some uh, to believe that, 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 what, that what they do for the Lord is hampered by our inability, amen, to actually come into a physical house of the Lord. Uh, uh, national surveys actually suggest that there has been a reduction in the participation as well as given in the church. All right. Statistics that I really find astonishing when I consider all the junk that we've had to face this year, amen. Uh, and, and, and there's one surety that I know, that God has been consistent throughout all of it, and not only through this, but throughout history as a whole. Word of God is, is instrumental in our development as believers. Uh, the continued execution of it, uh, whether in person or via, amen, virtually, is critical and should not be applied uh, or should be applied to our daily walk so that we can avoid sin, hallelujah, in our lives. Uh, when we operate outside the boundaries of what we know to be right as taught by the Word of God, we are disobedient. Uh, and this disobedience equates a man to negligence. All right. All right. Now, negligence is defined as failure to exercise uh, the care that a reasonably prudent, wise person would exercise in like circumstances. In other words, a, a man, when you know to do better, a man, you do better. Uh, 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 and, 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 and if I don't do better and know to do better, then I'm actually operating in negligence. God wants to set up, uh, set us up, amen, uh, uh, to be an authority in the earth realm uh, that we might show the world that being in right fellowship with him establishes us. Right. This comes with a great responsibility, though, Sister Terry, and, and it should not be really taken lightly. I, I think sometimes we forget just who we serve right. and how important it is that we continue to serve him in that manner. Now, if you're listening this morning, I, I, I want you to take a real evaluation of your life. I, I want you to listen to me, amen. I, I want you to think about how your parents or grandparents or other family members did everything they could perhaps to get you in church. Amen. So that you would have some sort of a foundation that, that when life hits you, amen, you would be able to endure and to handle and to deal with everything that really was coming our way. Now, what I need you to also do now is to separate the foolishness, amen, that we sometimes associate with church. Uh -huh. Amen. Because sometimes I think that's the very thing that keeps a lot of folks from giving themselves wholeheartedly because they see that stuff going on and they say, I don't want to do church. All right, all right, all right. And really focus now on the fundamentals, amen, of what is being done. Uh, uh, the introduction to the Almighty. Hallelujah. Yeah. That, that, that many of us, uh, 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 that many of them depended on, our, our parents, grandparents, I know my grandmother, amen, she 
need to cook a pot and, and I don't know, but it seemed like food just kept coming out of it. All right, all right. I know only about one or two chickens went in, amen, but, but every time she went in to dip out something to put on a plate, there was something coming out. They, they, they depended on God, amen. They, 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 they understood that God was the one that was going to help them raise them 13 or 10 or 15 children, amen. And, and you know, some cases it might be a few, uh, a few of them, Go into prayer so that God will give. 
house to the lion den. The lions were hungry and they're going to eat that person. I told you, be careful of the traps that you set for somebody else. Oh, oh, Daniel would be subject, amen, to discipline that would remove his influence. So now, he's on his way up, but they said if we can get him to pray like we know he will by this decree, then we can get him moved out of his position, and now we'll have what Daniel got. I want to say that also with you, be careful what you ask for. Amen. Not everything that somebody else got is for you. What God has for you is just for you. Amen. Hey, they didn't know what Daniel had went through. They didn't know all the stuff that Daniel had. They don't know what you done been through. They don't know how many nights you stayed up front. They don't know how many tears you shed. They don't know how many folks came at you. They don't know those things. But God knows. God declares that by, by doing this, amen, they would remove his uh, influence. Every one of you all, listen, have an influence. You got to influence somewhere in this world. Yeah. Whether it be your little cousin or your, your, your niece or your nephew or somebody, you got some sense of, uh, 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 of influence, amen. And, and what happens is that the enemy don't want you to display that. Yeah. Because if you display that, amen, you begin to provide light in a dark world. And as long as we can keep people dark, amen, we can keep them doing it bad, amen. But God said, let us be some light to folk. Yeah, all right. Now, the decree would be set. They set the decree. And, and something, amen, uh, 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 that, that I want you to hear, because Daniel appears, I told you, to be waiting for it. Right. When you do what God say do, all you have to do is get your run chair and just sit down and wait. Because yeah. something getting ready to happen, amen. Yeah. So stuff don't come your way. Anytime that righteousness show up, amen, dark don't come at the door, amen. It's coming, amen. It's going to come, amen. And, and the, the, he shared that when, when he knew that it was signed, he said he, he, he didn't go pray before it was signed. He said when I knew it was signed, when the decree was in effect, the Bible said that he went and he opened his window. He didn't even try to pray and see. I'm just trying to show you, amen, that what you do, only what you do for Christ mm, will last, amen. And the Bible says he prayed three times a day as he had done before. He said, I, I, y- y- I can set out the creeds you want, but because I know who I am and who's out there, I don't see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to show you. Even in the pandemic, amen, if you was at church every Sunday, you ought to still be in church every Sunday. If you was giving every Sunday, you still all be giving every Sunday.
Hallelujah. I'm going to leave you alone because somebody's going to call me later. Amen. A -a amen. He, 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 what he does, amen, is, is that God just keeps on giving because that's who he is. Yeah, right. God don't stop giving to and, and, and we can remain calm and at peace when we have developed an ongoing relationship with him through our obedience and this dialogue that we have through prayer. Amen. What we got to do, we got to keep on praying. You got to push through every day that you're doing. Amen. Pray until something happens. Just keep on praying. Amen. You wait on God to deliver you from something. Just keep on praying until something happens. You wait on God to bring forth that funding that you need for that job. Just keep on pushing. Pray until something happens. You still want to go off to college and you 80 years old. Just keep on praying until something happens. God is not done with you. We got to have that mentality. Praying. Amen. Amen. And just keep on praying because God is going to move some things. I'm down there. Daniel uh, was a man of prayer. And even in this situation, prayer would help him to endure, amen, the moment and give him clarity in what he needed to expect from God. I, 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 he knew he was getting ready to go to the lion's den. I, I, I know that, Sister Kentry. I, I know he knew he was getting ready to go. Uh, uh, and, and I've also got an expectation that I'm believing that he already knew that God was going to make a way out of nowhere. See, see, you got to, you got to, even when you face with the lion's teeth, you got to know, amen, that the teeth are not in you, amen, until you actually feel the body. Oh, uh, some of us, are, we, we, we are scared of stuff that's coming at us, what somebody has told us going to happen, amen. Don't work. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Let, me, let me help somebody, amen, because I know I, I, every now and then I hear folks talking about, oh, my mama had something, and my daddy had this, amen. A amen. Don't claim stuff that somebody else had. Amen. You are you are um, fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Amen. And as a result of that, you got to walk in your day every day. Amen. A amen. Don't worry about tomorrow. Amen. Walk in today. Amen. But no love for tomorrow. Walk in today. Amen. And if you're healthy today, if you're able to breathe today, if you're able to raise your hand today, if you're able to pray today, that's what you do. Focus on what somebody told you, what you feel, amen. That, that ain't gonna help you, amen. So, so, so I understand, amen, that that, that prayer and it gives us strength to focus on the provider and not the problem. Right. As a result, David, uh, Daniel also shows us that in our trials and tribulations, point number two is that we don't stop giving. Right. Now, when we talk about giving, amen, folks start to cringe because they always think you're talking about money. Amen. Now that's part of it. Amen. But I, I'm talking about praise, gifts, and yourself. Right. Come on, talk to me. Amen. A -a Amen. Amen. You don't stop giving your praise. You don't stop giving your gifts. And you don't stop giving of yourself. Yeah. Daniel's reputation preceded him. And although the king was pressured to stick with the decree, it troubled him. Well, Bible says that he was a little troubled by the fact that he's going to have to send Daniel, amen, to, 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 to the lion's den. And, 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 but here it says he also expected him to survive. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh he said when the king commanded, verse 16, and they brought Daniel and Casper to the den of the lion. Now the king spake and said to Daniel, thy God whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. Oh, yeah. The king referred to Daniel as a servant who was continually serving his God. In other words, he said, I know his track record. I've seen him since the day he came. Matter of fact, we changed his name. He had one name when he got here. We changed it, but that didn't stop him. His name didn't change who he was. Oh, come on, talk to me, amen. Some of us, amen, get a few titles in front of our name, and it'll change us. I, 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 come, come, come on, look at me closely, amen. Don't let your title and the name change, change who you are in Christ, amen. Amen, amen. So, so, so he's, a, he's, a, he's a servant who continues to serve God. Remember, Daniel had been brought in to captivity. Right, yeah. Now, how is it that you can be held captive and still elevated? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, come on. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Amen, amen. You've been held hostage in some places too, but God, keep on elevating you. God, keep on elevating you. Amen. And, and, and not only that, amen, but, 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 but as we look at him, he had saw how God worked in the situation, but he never lost sight of who he was. All right. yeah. Now, the current climate from this pandemic, amen, to elections has cost uh, some of us more than others. Some of us can talk about what we can lost, some of us can talk about what we ain't lost. A amen. Everybody ain't been affected the same way, amen. But here's the thing. The Bible says that the rain falls on the just and the unjust. Right. So that means sometimes the unjust gonna get blessed too. Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, come on. Uh -oh. Right. 
Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, so, 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 don't get to thinking that because you are saved that you ain't going to have to go through something. Amen. 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 All of us don't have to go through. It's not what you go through. It's the attitude in which you have when you're going through. Amen. 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 So, 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 regardless of what comes your way, your love for God and the actions you take in serving him should never change. I'm going through. I, I, I lost my job. God's still good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. There, there, there might be some times when, when like Mal, it appears that there's so much strong that 
pressure, amen, that it's hard to believe that, that it will or that things will get better. I, I know it, amen, that sometimes you say, I, I don't see how it's going to get better, Pastor. Right. I, I don't see how it's going to get no better than this, amen. Uh, uh, she gone, they gone, this is gone, they're all gone. It, 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 it don't seem like it's going to get no better. Here, I'm here to tell you, it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Times when it appears to be darkest, with no light in sight. Those are the times when we have to pray and ask the God to help us in our unbelief. There's some times when you ain't gonna believe it. That's why you gotta say, Lord, I ain't gonna believe this right now. I don't believe what's going on, but but can you help my unbelief? Can you can you guide me into the position, amen, of uh, where I need to be, amen, amen? And here's what happened. We know he can. Anybody know he can? Shout out hallelujah. Amen. That when it comes to the word of God, we have a hard time believing. Yeah. Now, last Sunday night, last Sunday night, the Kansas City Chiefs were playing the Raiders. <laughs> oh. and, 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 and it was under two minutes left. Yeah. Some folk had turned their TV off. They ain't learned yet. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. And, and they had turned their television off. They, they're like, oh, the, the Raiders have won this game. Amen. Yeah. But they gave Patrick Mahomes a little bit of, under two minutes left. Amen. And, and, and what does he do? He executes a play. He executes a drive that sends him right down. And what they get? Touchdown. All right. Amen. And, and, and puts them in a position to win. Amen. And then they get the ball back and they throw an interception so the game over. But, but, but that part don't even matter because if it hadn't been what happened with Patrick Mahomes and the rest of them before that, it wouldn't, not, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter about the interception anyway. But what I'm trying to show you, amen, is that you never Stop believing. Never underestimate what can happen if you got faith. Yeah, yeah. He, he did an interview. He said, he said, I just believe that we're going to go down there and score. He said, and all of us believe. What happens when all of the church start believing together? What happens when all families start believing together? What happens when everybody on the job start believing together? What happens when we all start believing together? Things can happen when we all believe. Bible declares in verses 20 through 23 here in Daniel chapter 6, it reveals that King Darius went to the cave the next morning. Yeah. He gets to the cave, and when he gets to the cave, the Bible says he calls out. He said, and when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice. That's a crying voice, amen? He, he cries out, amen? He cries out. He said, Daniel! <laughs> King spake and said to Daniel, oh, Daniel, servant, now he didn't say serving to me. Come on, talk to me. All right. oh, so, 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 I'm trying to show you how to change stuff in your life. Amen. A -a -a Amen. When you're going through, amen, don't be calling on everybody else. Don't call Oprah. Don't call uh, Dr. Phil. Don't call Ghostbusters. Call Jesus. A -a amen. And, and what's going to happen is that when you call upon the Lord, some things going to happen. He calls out, amen. And when he calls out, he says, Servant of the living God is not God whom thou servest continually able. To deliver you. Yes, now, now, it don't say anywhere in that next verse that the king shut him out and waited an hour to hear from Daniel. All right. Come on, talk to me. I, I'm trying to help somebody. So some of us are messing up because we sit around waiting on God and God has already answered. Yeah, yeah. All right. Bible declares, amen. He said, he cries out, reiterating in Daniel's character and what he had known to be true of his God. When we are consistent in how we honor God, it provides the world of evidence of his splendor. Yeah. The world, that's what, that's what Darius represents, the world. And now because of Daniel's obedience, he's showing to Daniel, or he's showing to, to Darius, God is in control. Yes. Right. Yes. Why declares Daniel responds, oh king, live forever. Don't worry, he said, king, don't, 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 don't fret yourself. Don't worry about this, amen. Right. My, my, my God has already had it all. He needs to have it, amen. Amen. You got sometimes folk worried about you. Don't tell them. Don't worry about me. God has already had it, amen. Amen. Don't, don't, don't tell them, amen. Don't you be sitting around crying and come in my room and, and call me on the phone. Talk about, oh, that's such a bad thing. I don't know. No, no, no. I ain't, I ain't claiming that. Because yeah. right. right. God has already delivered me, yeah. amen. But you know who I serve. And my daddy served what? 
And you, he, he's a universal guy. Yeah. He's all over, amen. And, and, and can't nobody talk about him and do nothing to him because he is God. He said what? He said he announced that the angels of God did what? Shut the mouths of the lion. All right, sir. All right. It didn't say sold it. Shut up. Didn't say that the lions wasn't hungry. He said, but the angels came yes, yes. and they shut the mouths of the lions yes. so that the lions did not even. Matter of fact, I, I, I curled up next to them perhaps. Right. And I'm just laying right there all night long. Amen. Now, it amazed me because I see some animal shows now and, and folk got lions. I'm like, hold up. Don't y'all know it's a lion? <laughs> and you laid up and you wrestling with the lion and all this kind of stuff. Don't you know that lion will eat you? Right, and then people tell you stuff like this. He won't bite. Devil is a lie. Right. <laughs> amen. I don't, I don't trust people dogs. Amen. So, right. so I sure ain't gonna trust no lion. Right. But, but, but here, Daniel is in the midst of the deer, and it don't say he went a lion. It says lions. Right. He shut the mouth of the lions, yeah. which means that even if one of them didn't decide, there was one that probably you y'all saw the lion king. Amen. Mufasa and Scar. Amen. Amen. Mufasa was righteous, and Scar wasn't no good. Amen. Right. I would imagine right. that Daniel had a been in there with them. Scar would have tried to at least nibble on them, amen. I'm just trying to show you, amen, that when God steps in, God will shut the mouth of everybody that got that mouth up on you. When they try to say something from you, when they try to discredit you, when they try to take you out, God will shut their mouth. You don't, you don't want to be in a situation where God got to shut your mouth. When we are obedient to God, that which is designed to consume us can't. Because it's subject to God's approval. All right. The lions had to get permission to eat that. Right. And he said, not today. Yes, Amen. The psalmist reminds us, Psalm 37 and 25, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken. Yes, no, his seed yes, beg for bread. He said, he said, Daniel didn't have to worry because he's righteous. And I ain't going to leave the righteous. That's what he tells us in, in Hebrews 13. He tells us what? He said, I, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So I ain't got to worry about God leaving me. I ain't got to worry about him leaving him. Why? Because he's here. Amen. Hallelujah. Over 2,000 years ago, God set the stage for the righteous to be redeemed back uh, to him through the total righteousness of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And, and God's love for the world was so immense that he gave Jesus, amen, to be offered as the atoning sacrifice for the, with the sins of the world. The unblemished lamb is now going to the uh, uh, cross for the blemished world. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 how does that work, amen? That, that, that somebody will come in and got no sin that will die for the whole world. There ain't nothing but God, amen.
the desire to hamper, hamper, amen, your hopeless, it turns you hopeless. Amen. You sit around saying, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. Stop listening to him. All right, all right. Keep praying. Yes. Keep giving. Yes. Keep believing. Yes. Let me say it again. Keep praying. Yes. Pray without ceasing. Yes. Keep giving. Yes. Bring all these tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house. Yes. Yes. Keep on believing. Yes. Do I believe in our confession? Amen. We will be saved. Amen. Keep on giving. Yes. Keep on believing. Keep on praying. Yes. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask for them, yeah. according to the power that worketh in us. Yeah. So I'm going to challenge you. Challenge yourself to stay on top of your game. Yeah. So much time, you know, I, I, I need to get on my A game. Amen. Stay on your A game when it comes to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Don't, don't, don't let down and don't let nobody let you down. Right. Don't let nobody come in and change your mind. Don't let nothing, no situation change your heart. Know who you serve. Yeah. Keep right. on serving. You cannot afford not to serve. Right. Amen. 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 It's some stuff that you can do. You, you can pay a little bit on a bill. Right. And your life might stay on a little bit. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do what you need to do for the Lord, mm -hmm. hallelujah. All right. Amen. There might be somebody here this morning who was made up in their mind, I ain't gave all I should. I, I, I ain't praying all I need to be. And my belief system is probably not where it should be as well. We extend the invitation of discipleship to you. We ask that you come on this morning. Give the Lord your heart. God can take what you are and turn you into what he desires you to be. God already knows what the plan is for your life. It's just now a matter of you accepting it and walking into it. You come by that Christian experience candidate for baptism. I encourage you, don't stop believing. Don't stop praying. Don't stop giving. And again, it ain't just money. That's your time. That's your talent. It's your resources. It's your praise. Keep giving. Why? Because he's worthy of everything that we yes. give to him. Yes. 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 Who do you know that can make the world at his mouth, his mouth say, let there be, and there he is. Yeah. Who do you know, amen, that can rise a man, or raise a man from the dead? Who do you know can do that? I ain't talking about who did it and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about somebody who was actually dead and Jesus goes to the, to the grave and says, Lazarus, come forth. Another man's daughter dead. Jesus speaks to her and she comes alive. I'm just talking about we serve a God who's able to do the yeah. impossible. Yes, yes, yes. There is nothing too hard for God. Right. Elizabeth couldn't have a baby. Sarah couldn't have a baby. John Oh, couldn't have a baby. And he brings forth. I, I mean, I'm sorry, Zachariah, his dad. And they can't have a child, but who comes forward? John. God is able. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Don't discredit God and miss out on the Isaacs in your life. Chasing after these mm -hmm. All right. There's some All stuff right. that God wants for you. He wants the best. He's already promised it for you. Oh, thank you. But don't step out of bounds and try to get it. This is a season where you can't afford not to give God all of you. Because what we don't know, <clears throat> we know where we're at, but we don't know where we're going to. But the thing that we do know is who's going to take us in. He's consistent. Keep trusting, keep believing. We see that there are none, but there's always room in the kingdom. As we get ready to close on today, we encourage each and every one of you to continue to love one another. Call your uh, church members. Call them, encourage them. Say, hey, how you doing? I ain't, ain't talked to you in a minute. I ain't seen you in a while. Just want to say hello. Let them know that you're thinking about them. Let them know that you're praying for them. Find your prayer partner if in the, if within the church. <clears throat> and y'all pray with each other daily. Continue to do the things that we have been taught to do. Amen. Amen. I, I just believe that God has given us enough over 10 years. And then some of y'all have been here longer than that <clears throat> in the church. He's given us all that we need in those times to sustain us. If we can't be sustained eight months, all right, all right. nine months, or a year, but what God already poured in us for over 70 years for some of us, amen, right. then we got real troubles. All right. all but right. what God said, I already got you where you need to be. Now I just need you to grow up. Right. Stand up. Be who I created you to be. Amen. I made you. You are already designed for this. You built for this. Amen. Why? Because there's somebody else who ain't built for it, and they're looking at you. 
and when they see how you act, how you respond, they say, well, wait a minute, if they in the war, they didn't know they'd be coming in, I didn't know what I'm going through, and they still all over the place. Be consistent, be steadfast, be unmovable, always abounding the works of the Lord. Let us pray. Turn back to the mighty name of Jesus, we come. Lord, we thank you, Father, for what our eyes have seen, ears have heard of today. We thank you, Master, for the manifestation of your word. We thank you for the story of Daniel. We thank you, Father, for Darius's belief that Daniel's God was supreme. We thank you, Father, for giving us an illustration, Father, of what we can do even in the trials and tribulations that we're going through. Lord, I thank you, Father, that you've impressed upon us the importance of prayer, giving, as well as believing. That, Lord, the pandemic doesn't have us. We should have the pandemic. That, Lord, as your children, those who you have called <coughs> according to your will and to your purpose, that, Lord, as we have been chosen, uh, the royal priesthood, we pray now in the name of Jesus that we live up, Father, to your expectation of us. That, Lord, if there's some areas, Lord, where we need to continue to grow, we pray now, Lord, that you will put in our hearts the importance of growing. Lord, the importance, Father, of following, Lord, leadership. The importance, Father, of following directions. The importance, Father, of walking, Father, upright. Lord, uh, the world will try to challenge us, Lord, on our beliefs. There's people in our lives, Father, that if we continue to keep them there, that, Lord, they'll challenge us on what we believe as well. That's why, Lord, you tell us, Lord, that we are fruit inspectors. And that, Lord, we have to discern the Spirit. Try the Spirit by the Spirit. There's some things, Lord, we are allowing in our lives that are not good for us. But I'm just praying now, Father, as we are on the back end of Thanksgiving Day with our thankfulness, Lord, and, and we're headed, Father, into uh, uh, Christmas and, and our understanding of who Christmas or what Christmas is really all about. You giving the perfect gift of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, uh, who's now on the right hand, pleading the intercessors is going to come back and that there's a time, Father, when the saints will have the opportunity to spend eternity with you. That, Lord, that we are mindful and that we are joyful of that. And Lord, I pray now, Father, that even if we don't have enough of the things that we thought we wanted, that we are content, Father, with what we have. That, Lord, as we walk in our contentness, that, Lord, that you will offer up, Father, new things for us, Lord, as a result, Father, just being obedient to your will. Lord, I pray for our youth. Lord, I pray that you will strengthen them, God, and let them see that there is a reality serving true and living God through their parents, through their grandparents. Let us, Lord, walk in that example. Let us be that example, Father. Let us, Lord, trust you enough, Lord, to lean not into our own understanding, but in all our ways we'll acknowledge that you will direct our path. Lord, we come praying, Father, for our sick, our, our shedding and bereaved, uh, those, Lord, who are less fortunate. Uh, we're praying now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you heal them in the areas of need. Touch Nikki Willison. Uh, Brother Steve Wright and his wife and their family uh, as they're bereaving the loss of his brother. And we pray now, Father, for their, uh, not only them, but all bereaved families right now, Father. We know, Father, that it's not easy. And bereavement and grievement does not stop, Lord, when uh, the cemetery, uh, we walk away from the cemetery on that day. But, Lord, it's an ongoing process, Lord, and some have been grieving 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Lord, I pray now that you strengthen them and guide them, Lord, that they may walk in their purpose. Lord, I thank you that you would show us all our purpose in you, that we understand, Master, that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. And that, Lord, there is no failure in you. With you, Lord, all things are possible. So, Lord, we praise you on today. We thank you. We thank you, Father, for softening the heart, Father, of our own affairs. That, Lord, that as things are needed to move forward, Lord, you're allowing the process to go forward. Lord, that there's some things in our own lives, Father, that need to be shook and shaped up and moved out. That, Lord, as you're moving them and shaking them up, Father, that our mind will be focused on you as our source. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you and we adore you. Lord, we pray now for every individual, Lord, that may be struggling with corona, uh, the virus, whether it be going to some who are sick or those, Father, who have loved ones who are sick or have even passed as a result, that, Lord, that they keep their minds stayed on you, and that, Lord, that you continue to heal, and that, Lord, you continue to make a way, Lord. Yeah. Let us know, Father, that it has no bearing on who you are, because you are still God. Yeah. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, Rest with the Bible that's henceforth now and forevermore. Let every heart say amen, 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 amen. and amen. amen. Again, three things that you cannot do in the pandemic. Be blessed. <laughs>